In today's video, I'm gonna show you a dress that I've just finished making, which I like, but I don't love. Hi everyone, I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. Today I have finished a dress, finally, after my disaster with the duvet cover dress, which you'll probably see in a few vlogs back. I will link it up here if you want to see it, where I had real problems trying to get the bodice right on a Cynthia Rowley pattern. So I was after the same kind of shape and somebody suggested this, which is new look, six, six, four, four, six, I think. Let me just check that I've got that right, yep. And you can make it in like a jumpsuit with um, very wide, or you've got the dress option as well. So I went with this one here. Um, I didn't want to do contrasting bands and I didn't do the fabric tie belt, which I will get to in a minute because I maybe need something like that. Now this one is a bit of a strange pattern in that most of the new look patterns when I've seen them in the past they have quite a lot of ease but this one said it only had one and a half inches of ease. So I had to err on the side of caution and go for a bigger size that I would normally do purely down for the numbers which were on the paper. So that's not much ease, so one and a half inches but I ended up doing a full bust adjustment or my version of a full bust adjustment. It's not something that I normally do. I've tried it years ago with not much success. Um, but I thought I'd try it this way. So I cut, I think it was a 12, I cut across here and then increased down at the waist uh, to I think maybe a 16, um, but then added in at the fullest part of my bust. And I think where I went slightly wrong is that I then added extra at the waist forgetting that I didn't need any extra at the waist, so I ended up having to take some of it out at the back. And I think it has caused problems in what I did, and let me just step back so you can see. So from a distance, because it's quite a busy print, you can't really see, it has pockets, quite nice big pockets here. Um, it's a bit camouflaged actually. So there is a, um, the pleats, which go at the front, um, and then you've got here so you've got waist um, seams and then at the back there are back darts and then they match up with there's a pleat now I don't know if I have sewn these pleats of, I think I have sewn them the right way around but I feel like from the side they kind of stick out so I would almost be tempted to kind of top stitch those down a little bit so they don't puff out let me just show you from the back so I'm not entirely sure, I mean it just, I think just covers my bra fastening at the back so I think it probably, although it has wide straps, it probably needs to be worn with a strapless bra because my strapless bra sits lower down so that's like poking out of it. Um, it's not too bad but the issues, if you can see, is that you have this extra fabric here and because it's lined I think the bodice won't sit any further down because of the lining fabric. So you have this sort of extra amount here and then also, because this is a good thing about pattern fabric, um, is it disguises things, but I can see it here that it's almost like it's, it's too long and I did shorten the bodice by an inch, so I don't, but this is the stretch cotton, so I think maybe something has stretched out of place and then obviously it hasn't gone back and now I have this extra, so I had almost, I mean it's only a few mil but it almost it just needs to kind of sit so it is sitting on my waist but I have this extra fabric so it's really annoying but the big problem let me just sit down the big issue I had I know I'm just finding all the faults but if you sew and you're watching this you'll know and you'll probably look at it and if I just pretend that everything is fine you some people might watch it and go well, that isn't right and that is right. So I'm just putting it out there. I know that it's not a perfect fit, but from a distance, I think it'd be fine. And if I bought this in a shop, I probably wouldn't be picking full on this. But this bit here, the front band was literally just sitting off my chest. It was like out. So I think this bit here, it was too long because it really needed to like pull out, pull out and then sort of cut off a bit just to make it narrower so because it had all the width it was just sticking out and I didn't notice this until the very last minute so what I've had to do is like tuck it a bit and put some hand stitches right there 
and there because if I didn't do that it would be sticking out by that much and I can't do anything about it. It is interface so it's quite stiff and it's a thick fabric anyway and so it wouldn't just like there's no drape to it basically so if you had a thinner fabric it would probably just sit and you know you'd have a bit of excess but it's literally just sitting out like that so it's it's just really annoying the fabric is one I've had in my slat in my stash for about a year now and I I think I, I won it I won a gift card to so loco now their website was closed for a bit because the lady running it was on maternity leave but she has literally just reopened her shop I think last weekend or it was last week that's gone and I noticed they still do have this fabric in stock. So if you do like it, I will put a link down in the description box so you want to go and find it instantly. It's also where I got my pineapple fabric for my pineapple shirt that I filmed a few weeks ago. So just in case you wanted to know. So I had, I won a gift voucher through a sewing competition and I bought this fabric and I used two meters. And I think because the pieces were quite wide because of the pleats, I didn't get much out, much left over of my two meters, so I wouldn't be able to do it out of a meter and a half because of the yoke and the yoke pocket thing. So I think it's okay, but I think that although you see the pattern has a tie belt, so maybe if I have a contrast belt, then it would be okay. So it would just kind of disguise that excess. I'm just a bit disappointed because I I paid I made two bodices and like toils and I put a zip in and I tried different adjustments and I tried three versions of a full, full bust adjustment and I just don't, I just haven't got the fit that I wanted. It's fine for summer, for hot weather, no one else is probably going to really notice. I think if it was made in a plain fabric it would be, it would look awful but because it's in this sort of soft fabric which is patterns, I think that if I'm sitting down, you know, no, I don't think anyone else is probably going to notice, but I do, and I'm not that happy with it. It fits a lot better than the Cynthia Rowley one, because at least I can wear this one, so I will actually wear it. And the fabric feels really nice. The bodice is lined, but the skirt isn't. I normally do line skirts, so I would full, normally fully line something, but because this is a quite a thick cotton, I didn't need it, because I thought it was just going to get really hot. And actually, if it's really hot and sticky weather, if that heat wave comes back, let's hope um it will probably be too hot to wear it but overall I like the shape of it not too sure I'm not too fussed about those back plates I feel like it adds bulk to my backside but I will continue in my quest for a better fitting dress so wish me luck and if you have any more suggestions I will welcome them in the comments down below I'm not too sure what I'm going to say next we're creeping towards the end of July so I only have a couple of days, but as I'm not at work and not doing school runs, I can sew during the day so I can actually get things made. My husband's nagging me, he's off this week. He is nagging at me to get his Sugar Trooper trousers, the Star Wars trousers made. And I managed to source some bobbins which fit the old um, Husqvarna Viking machine behind me. So they fit and my dad is speaking to the guy who had looked at the machine who he knows he works for a charity repairing sort of old machines and then they get shipped abroad and he said he was going to speak to him and see if he could source a zip foot and then I could just make a donation to the charity so he has taken pictures on his phone of my machine and he also told me that the machine opens out and there's a, a dial in there and you can adjust the pressure for the presser foot so when I tried to sew the thinner fabric and it all just gathered it and sort of try to it just didn't sew it straight I can probably increase that so there's more pressure down so that it holds on to a thinner fabric more I didn't know that I'm learning more each week about that machine what let me know what you're sewing and what you're up to we are at the start of the official summer holidays so I would love some inspiration and just to know what you're up to if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed then please hit that subscribe button and I will see you again in my next video.